Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 8.5 of Lectures in Lab Coats. My name is Sparks, and I will be your lovely lab coated lecturing Let's Player for today. Uh, today, we're doing a bit of a clarification video, hence 8.5. Uh, I recently made a video explaining a new bug with the lava and water uh, to do with signs uh, and people were saying, a couple of people told me that it was a little unclear so I'm going to uh, extrapolate a little upon what I said before and actually try and make this a little bit clearer so what's happening. So with lava and water sources you can now place a sign um, right next to a source block or anywhere along a flowing point and um, the water is not cut off by the sign you can actually take a bucket and remove the original source block and the flowing section will never will never go down um, once you have once you have it set up like this you can then it'll stay like that forever and you can reuse that source somewhere else you can also do this um, with the sign diagonally down one from from the cutoff point so the sign can go here oh that was too early you have to leave it for a moment with the lava because it's a bit slow one second. You can see it with the water over there already. That should be far enough. There we go. Um, so here you can see that you have a unupdated blade and an unupdated tower. So you can actually again remove your sources and even remove the surrounding blocks and leave you with nothing but pure source, uh, pure flowing section um, and a sign on a block. Uh, now there's some very useful applications that can think of for this. The first is lighting. So you've got a lava bucket, but you don't want to to use it for lighting, but you still need light. You can place one like this in the ceiling somewhere, completely flush with your ceiling. You can have it flow down like that in a pillar, which will give you plenty of light. As soon as it's flown far enough not to update itself, you can place your sign here, pick up your source, and this pillar of lava will never move. You can then go ahead and use that lava bucket somewhere else. This is obviously a bug um, but even if it is fixed in the future, it shouldn't break any existing uh, instances of this, this bug. So you can use this for your lighting and it should never ever go away. Um, this is the most useful thing I can think of at the moment with this design. Uh, and that is, uh, I'm no expert, this is a, uh, a smooth stone generator. I'm not an expert with smooth stone generators, there may be a nicer way of doing this, but this is mostly to show you the principle. So you have your water source here, it's one, two, three blocks space between the source and the hole for it to flow down into. And you can place a sign here to cut it off and remove it or pick it up with your bucket so that water is then free to be used somewhere else if you have limited water. And then up here you can have your lava placed that will fall down into this section here. The half slabs just stop it spilling and it'll generate smooth stone here. Once that's done you can place your sign, remove your lava source for use somewhere else and those two blocks of lava will always stay there. You can now sit down here and you have uh, a nice easy to use um, smooth stone generator that you can attack with a pick uh, to get to get resources from and that lava is free to use somewhere else. So um, that's about it I've got for today. Uh, I hope this was clearer than the last video uh, explaining what you can do and, and how it works. Um, I would love to hear if anybody can think of anything better to do with this design. Uh, I'm quite pleased with this design, but uh, if somebody can come up with a smaller, a smaller um, example of a cobblestone generator or a smooth stone generator that uses this principle, that'd be cool because uh, I'm no expert with those. Uh, yeah, so this was Sparks. Thank you very much for watching. This is a series. If you enjoyed it, you're welcome to subscribe. Um, or you can click at the end of this video on one of the lamps to be taken to the previous or next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. This is sort of a bit of a um, extra episode, so it's not going to be linked um, as part of the main section. Um, episode 8 is going to be removed, probably. 8.5 will take its place in the, in the next video and previous video listings. But uh, if you click on previous video now, you can be taken back to the episode I did before, which is uh, involves beds. Lots of beds, and Minecraft crashes, and super flat worlds. Check it out if you're interested. If the um, video has been made, you can click on next video. Or uh, back right in the distance there, you can see I actually do a Let's Play with Crazy Man. It's a bundle of fun. You're welcome to click on that and see what we get up to.